over the course of 45 years, we feel like we've done a good job of building a strong brand that serves professionals in the jobs that they do. So whether you're a firefighter, a police officer, you're in the military, or you're a lineman for an electric utility, the whole idea here at Streamlight is that we're designing and manufacturing products that fit the application in a professional environment. We've always considered the backbone of Streamlight to be professional portable lighting products. It's really a company that's built first around design and engineering here in the United States. Most of what we do, we assemble here in Eagleville, Pennsylvania. So we're a large assembly operation and uh, a very broad product line. Our catalog's over 140 pages. So you can imagine the assembly operation gets a little bit complicated and all the different cells that we have. Streamlight has a 72,000 square foot warehouse, which is set up to efficiently store both finished good products, which are ready to ship directly out to our customers, and also component parts that are used by our production workers to build our product. The manufacturing process for the Vulcan 180 is comprised of multiple machine operations and mechanical hand assembly. The process begins with a base or a barrel of a light. It then passes through to each individual assembler in a clockwise fashion. Each assembler fastens their components onto the light and the product begins to take shape. These components include items such as switches, reflectors, and batteries. In-process inspection is implemented after each assembly operator and a point-of-use picture system identifies crucial inspection points and acceptance criteria. Our development process starts with usually some general discussions, some brainstorming meetings, and um, some quick sketches. Pretty quickly we get into CAD and modeling to generate some 3D printed prototypes to start getting a feel for what the product how it feels, how it functions, and what it's going to look like. For the Vulcan 180, we knew that we wanted it to be brighter, we wanted it to be lighter, we wanted to have a pivoting head to sort of marry some of the functionality between our Vulcan and light box lines. We also wanted a little bit more visibility on our taillights. We wanted the switch to be more robust and also more accessible. And we wanted to do all these things while staying within the same size as the existing Vulcan so it could be swapped out easily. And we also wanted to design this thing to be approved for hazardous locations. We've had a global supply chain for probably better than 25 years now. And so we source the components that best match the product that we need to build. At a certain stage in production, we start our testing. Um, this can be anything from impact testing, or drop testing to IP testing, testing the light for waterproofness and dustproofness. Uh, we'll also test for RF emissions to make sure we're not interact or interfering with any existing equipment and no existing equipment is interfering with our products. We'll also do ESD testing to make sure a shock isn't going to blow out any of the internal components. We'll also do elevated and reduced temperature tests. A lot of our lights go from negative 40 all the way up to 120 plus. Starting or expanding any business takes more than a good business plan and products. It also takes avenues to be able to get your products to the customer at the right time and place. For this reason, it's important to have a strategic partner like Motion Industries that stocks and inventories our products after the sale to ensure that the customer has them readily available wherever they may be located within North America.